you've ever calved out a pen of heifers, you know how important calving ease can be. Nobody likes to pull calves. It's hard on the cow, it's hard on the calf, and it's hard on the cowman. So when breeding those heifers, we want a calving ease bull, right? And calving ease is all about low birth weight, right? Well, there's more to it than that. I'm going to illustrate something that our grandfathers understood that today's cattle industry has forgotten. A few months ago, I met Steve Campbell of TaylorMade Cattle at a grazing conference. Steve has been in the cattle industry his entire life studying nutrition, genetics, phenotype, along with animal and soil health. All this from a sustainable grass-based point of view. At his booth, Steve displays an old dry cow pelvis. From this sample, he showed me something very simple regarding the slope of the pelvis and its effect on calving ease. This slope is visible when you look at the hooks and pins on the hip. Steve simply took the pelvis bone from his table and showed me the opening which the calf must pass through at birth. Holding it at a slight downward angle, the calf should have no problem. Now level it out and picture the calf passing through. Pretty simple, isn't it? Now look at the cattle that the status quo industry prizes. Do you see a problem? The status quo logic from the University Extension Service says the ideal beef animal would be nearly level from hooks to pins. Although it's not always the case, a level hip normally equals a longer, more muscular hip, if for no other reason than length itself. Also, a level hip is normally considered more eye-appealing. So why do we keep selecting for something that's not practical in the real world? Because it looks pretty? Add to that what Steve calls the infertility bone, and we shoot ourselves in the foot by following the show ring fads. The angle of the slope from the hooks to the pins will affect calving ease. This example explains why I used to pull calves from 1,100-pound heifers who were show ring beautiful. It explains why a 950-pound PCC heifer can have a 94-pound calf out of the neighbor's bull without assistance. It also explains why PCC has more calving ease than anyone else in the seed stock business. You can see the difference if you know what to look for. According to Steve, we've only scratched the surface of the things other than birth weight that affect calving ease, but this is a really obvious one. If you want genetics with genuine built-in calving ease, visit pharaohcattle.com or come to the next bull sale in Montana or Nebraska. I'll see you next time on the Herd Quitter Minute. Mm -hmm.